Routing your market data sounds like a pretty boring topic, but for traders it can be essential to know about. So in today's video, we're going to talk about setting up your market data to route it through different connections. So in your control center, underneath tools and options, you will see a bunch of categories. One that is hiding there at the bottom is called market data, and it might just be your new best friend. Select it, and you're not going to see anything special. But beside your preferred connection for historical data and preferred connections for real-time data is this little triangle, and if you click on it, it will expand. So this is where we can set up which connection is used for which market. And I know half of you are sitting there right now going, what the heck am I going to use this for? And the other half of you are probably grinning from ear to ear. I'm going to give you one example of where this can come in handy. And it really depends on how you do your technical analysis. But let's just say I scan for XCBC patterns. And I want to go back to when the euro was first created, December 16th, 1995. The problem, though, is that my data provider doesn't allow me to go that far back or requesting all that data puts me over some sort of a limit and the third possibility is that the data doesn't exist that far back with the broker so what can you do so you want to get all the data but you also want to use your fast real-time connection that you're currently using with your broker and this is where we organize our market data so for historical data for forex we're going to pick google and for the real-time data we're going to go back and pick ninja traders fxcm You see how our historical and real-time data can come from two different sources and keep things you know, much more efficient? I was saying that before there were advantages of this. And let's say that you use interactive brokers to trade FX, but you know that connecting to interactive brokers while requesting a lot of data can put you over a high number of requests and create an error. So feel free to set up your real-time and historical data preferences, which can be very useful if you trade multiple markets and for other reasons that we discussed. So don't forget to download the Priceline tool, which will work great when you load up all this data using your new market preferences. Uh, so you can get that free from our site, xabcdtrading.com. Any questions, toss them in the comments box below, of course, and we'll see you in the next video.